Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, and today I'd like to show you how to draw a front view of our ferocious dragon, the king of the mythical beasts. Now let's start by getting our bearings, and for that we're going to use this blue pencil. I'm going to draw a top half of the head, crown of the head, small, angry skull. This is the bridge of the nose right here. Come down, we're going to kind of foreshorten by having the front of the nose, the snout, end here. Like this here are going to be the eyes coming down this way. Here's the crown of the head, and the eyebrows, and they'll lead into sharp cheekbones, which come down here. And here we have the ridges, which, which helps our eye go back in time, back to the origin right here. We will keep the nostrils up front and heavy. And the jaw will be decidedly big, which helps it eat its victims. I'm sorry, but that's what it does. Hey, it's got to make a living, you know? All right. We'll actually bring this up here and tilt it down like so. Bags under the eyes. And we're going to do this over again in, uh, just go over these lines in black once we have it. This is just for position, all right? I like to play with the horns, give them kind of a, a fancy look here. Not your ordinary horns, sort of the, uh, the ones you get with special options on them. That's right. I'm going to bring this mouth down a little bit. Instead of going up, I think it's going to look good if I bring it, bring it down slightly. Yeah, that's good. You'll see when we hit it, it's just kind of a... Uh, giving it more attitude if it goes down. All right, ready? Ready to turn into a dragon? Here we go. Get the black pencil and we'll get started. I like to give a couple of thorny spikes to its forehead. And make the Make, their look, make it look like there's a crease in the middle of his head by having these lines kind of converge in each other. Nice, thick upper eyebrows crushing down toward the center like that. Okay. Actually, they can even go way past the, even the skull. Now, I like to keep the eyes blank. I mean, I just think it looks so intimidating to have like nothing going on in the eyes of the of an evil creature. So see, we heat this ridge coming all the way down the face. And on this side, and this side. A little shadow in the middle. And some shadow under the eyes. Let's give them really thick eyebrows. Maybe shade under that as well. A few uh, warts here. Not exactly a fashion plate, but then he's not in this for good looks. He likes to destroy. Sorry, I got a little carried away. All right, and a sharp cheekbone. And we're going to remember to put these oversized nostrils in the front. Bring the jaw down, the nose down this way, the muzzle as it were. And very random looking shark-like teeth. They don't have to be exactly even. I, I think they look 
more intimidating if they're not exactly even. Like so. so a couple more warts here. Sort of little trailing flaps of skin. Any creature with trailing flaps of skin, not a good guy. Let's give a nice thick neck. As he's turned to look like us, look at us. And how about we bring in those sharp horns now? We'll simplify these. I'm going to put some striations on the horns, a few more at the ends. A little bit of flaps here, those dorsal fins, which I'm going to blacken in. Gives good contrast. A few more little errant lines to kind of break that up, and I'm going to make that drip with whatever is, whatever he charged at it with. Maybe he's got the, maybe that's the blood of some poor unfortunate knight. All right, so there is your classic, not very nice guy, but effective guy, dragon. I hope you enjoyed that. Please come back and visit me again. I hope you subscribe for more videos. Thanks. Bye-bye. I'm the author of many popular how to draw books on everything from cartooning to manga. I upload new videos each week, so please subscribe and enjoy.